as you're looking around the rest of the camp, you're checking the bloody footprints. What else do you find? Okay, so this is what you find. The first thing you notice is that it's a tattered journal. Um, beside the female dead body. Besides that, you seem to find a journal. You look at the journal. Most of it is not readable. It appears to have been kept by someone named Peyton. P-E-Y-T-O-N. And there are a couple pages that are still eligible. There, now they are showed to you on all ah, of your screens. see it. This is the first page that you're able to see. I've been booted out. Are you able to read this page? August 18th, 1779, AA. I have been remiss about doing my daily journal writing, but here is our latest plight. We have decided to turn back from meeting with the Faye. Faye after encountering an enchanted bridge. It appears to be the only way across the enchanted border stream. border stream for miles, and we could not figure out how to cross without activating the guardians. Ooh. Oh it my. appears there's a second page. Since we hope... Since we have no hope of safely crossing the Alder Faywood. Faywood, we are forced to travel northeast up and around the Faywood. In if, if I hope to make it to the East Village's coast, uh, I am scared going, knowing that going that going that going way that way is too, too close. close to the northern. Oh, uh, Orc, orc country for me. Also, Juli Juliana? Siliana? Siliana says she had a terrible dream last night that a dark snot, soot? soot covered dwarf was staring at her from off the branches while from she From the slept. bushes? Yeah, from the bushes while she slept near the campfire. This was not a good omen. So... Now you found these notes and you know something has happened. These They turned back from where they were trying to get into the Feywood and they've camped here and now something has happened to the camp. Uh, what do you wish to do? Okay. And those tracks... Going northward. And what kind of away. tracks would they be? It looks to you... Well, you want to roll? Roll for investigation. Well, for well investigation. actually, it's perception. How, we don't do investigation. Uh, this map goes on quite a while with those bloody footprints. 16 plus whatever the hell. 10. You clearly can tell that there are... 16 is good enough for Tracker Percy to tell that they, it looks like there are two or three sets of male tracks. Okay. And then there are also some much shorter stride tracks and you would guess that those tracks are not regular humans. They are smaller people. Mm. And they're white. They're very wide, heavy tracks. Okay. Some, A couple Dwarves. of them are shod boots of some type. Uh, okay. So this nightmare that they had of the, of the staring dwarves could have been real life. What do you want to do? Mm, thank you. Uh, well, we, uh, we're going to investigate for... I mean, what else can we do but carry on? Um, so uh, we would we, we need to get back on the mammoth and carry on as soon as possible. Let's just get back on the mammoth. Just get back on the mammoth, my friend. So you're leaving the camp? Um, I think we have no choice on this one. And follow the footprints? Let's follow the footprints, or do we want to keep going the way we're going? Because the footprints look like they go back the other way. Okay. The footprints go north. You were heading south. We're heading west. south. Ah, southeast. So I say we carry on southeast. Yeah. I mean, okay. we have a reason that we're going. Yes. That's I mean, true. We do it, have a it's mission. It's a warning. We've received a warning, mm -hmm. I think, guys. And if we investigate it as much as we can, we can't see it as anything other than a warning. Well, shall we carry on then? Let's carry on, guys. So Carry you are just them. ignoring the bloody footprints and you are heading on, continuing for the fame. I don't want to follow the bloody footprints. Do you guys want to follow the bloody footprints? 
The I... crusader in me does want to, but at the same time, we are on our own mission. All aboard. Okay, All so aboard. you decide to ignore the abandoned camp and continue further south. Yeah, time's a ticket. Okay, so you came upon this camp in the evening. It was the very end of the day. So right now it is 11 p.m. Are you continuing on during the night? Yeah, we'll nap on the mammoth. I don't know if we can sleep on the mammoth. I couldn't write You're a scroll. You're wobbling back and forth like this. How far do you want to continue? Uh, how many hours? I'd say another two hours, guys, and then we. Another two hours would be, you know, eleven. So one in the morning. Yep. Yes. And if it, if it's that late, it's a good thing we didn't go follow the bloody footprints, anyways, because we don't want to encounter anything in the dark. Fair enough. Good point. Point taken. That's... Okay, and we're going to see where you go. As you are riding on your mammoth, uh, eventually, uh, and it is now 1 in the morning, 1 p.m., just as uh, you're considering uh, trying to stop. So you're there with your mammoth. Uh, here, let me uh, put you all in... In our circles. There. So you're all there. And ahead of you, you see, this is what you see. You got it up on the adventure scene. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh. That looks amazing. It's a different time of day. It's a little darker. Mm -hmm. I can't change the the time of day in my, <laughs> yeah, in my images. Like twilight or sunset hours. Sunset before twilight. Yeah. Golden Give it a couple hours. of hours. It'll be, it'll be sunrise. So between the game map where you kind of see what's around you as far as your environment goes, there is obviously a stream and a bridge. And this is your scene where you're standing looking forwards towards the bridge. What do you wish to do? I, I suggest we back away from the bridge in case there's anything coming out of it and then set camp for the night. I agree with you. Yes. I was going to say, let's camp here for the night, have our last cooked meal. Well, we can't light a fire. No. We can't light a fire within Feywood. You're not within... in the Feywood yet. Neither was the other camp. They lit a fire and look what happened. That Tried doesn't. That's attention. not necessarily <clears throat> the reason why they got attacked. But they could have attracted attention with fire. Do we want Fine. To attention? Let's just eat the fish jerky we have. And make it sushi. Send the okay, so sushi. you're making a camp. Yep. And um, let's assume I'm not going to make a real thing, a real campfire on the screen right now. What I'm going to do is just find out what do you want to do about setting watches. Right now it is 1.30 in the a.m. Okay. So who's going to take first watch? I can do it. And who's going to take second watch? I'll do it. And who's going to take third watch? Three watches as usual. Uh, go ahead, Percy, roll for your walk. Everybody else is settling down to go to sleep. Uh, 16. Let's have the 360 cam, please. Or the right. or the Wilder Bunch. Yeah. Wilder. The Wilder. How much did you roll? 16. 16. Yeah. Um, so as you are uh sitting there and you're there until four in the morning um it's pretty quiet it doesn't seem to be any any noise nothing coming or going um you think once that you hear some rustling and jingling and think that you catch some peering eyes looking at you from uh down the road on the edge of the road uh, some bushes, the bet behind some bushes, uh, the way that you have come. But mm. uh, there isn't any other indication other than that. Okay. And next watch. That is. Um, 11 plus 9 is 20. 11 plus 9 is 20. While Thaddeus is on watch, you rolled a total of 20? Yep. As you're watching, all of a sudden, trying to sneak through the bushes and get behind you, and you catch him, is a small, black, dirty-looking dwarf who is attempting 
to attack you, but he does not take you so by surprise. Roll. You roll a one. Oh no. <laughs> so he does take you by surprise. Oh, no. He rolls to hit. And with a 15, let's see what he does. Plus nine for hit. No, that's it. That's not his to hit. His hit is plus 12. So that's a 20. Six. Six. He beats your thing. And he gets within not too far a distance. And all of a sudden he throws something. A little orb sails through the air and it hits you. Nimble dodge. Uh, your nimble dodge uh, work for increasing your armor class to 24 from 22. Oh. Right? It does not help you beyond that. How bad we how, can't do let's try that again with to my watch. Like am I waking your up other and role? stumbling you know upon your, this? Dave? Just a minute. I am trying to figure stuff out. As this thing hits you, it explodes in fire and it burns you for 12 points of damage. Mm. Uh, plus one point of damage that splashes on the ground around you. At the same time, all of a sudden there's a bellow from the forest. Hoo! And a whole bunch of black little figures come running out to attack you. More of these little bombs come out as well. <clears throat> That's not the right thing. Let's find out. Yeah, it's 2d4s. I need two of those. So he couldn't have done his let's try it again. And the well, roll. Th th we're getting attacked by a bunch, of, like an army of little. He rolled a one. Weird things. A bomb hits Percy and he's laying down and does six points of damage to him and burns him. Thaddeus? Percy or Thaddeus? Percy. Percy is sleeping. I am oh, sleeping. wow. So I am struck, and six points of damage, you say? Yes. A bomb hits Josephine, who is also sleeping, and does eight points of damage. Ugh, gross. And a bomb hits Raven and does 12 points of damage. Uh, roll for initiative. Bomb didn't hit me at all. And there was no bomb that hit Lavinia. Josephine is the first to respond. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, what does she decide to do? These are the figures I am going to... Oh, hold on. Sorry, you can't see it on the map. i got to move the map. Boop. This is where you were camped. was around the rune stone that's there. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are the figures... We're going to move you guys camped around the room rune stone. You oh I can't I gotta do 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 you guys are around that rune stone like that, more or less. Your mammoth is still there, standing off to the side, just uh, kind of minding his own business and not doing anything. Okay, these are the little guys here? Those are little guys there. Now, you'll notice that there's uh, f some of the tokens are just a default white face, mm -hmm. and it's because I just discovered they were broken. I didn't know that because I didn't expect to be making this encounter, but that's okay. <laughs> and now Josephine has to decide what she's going to do. Josephine, with her first action, scurried to the top of this rock. Okay, that's one action. Two actions left. She whips out her whip. Gonna whip it good. And who's she gonna? Who's she targeting? All of them. Just a wailing whip across. Um... Let's try to slash them all. 
Are they too you far You can't away? hit them all. Too far I don't away. think you can multi-strike with your Fine. Work. Just the one closest to me then. The other ones are out of your reach anyways. But you can attack the one that is closest to you. Yeah. And you uh, rolled a hit with your whip. See if you hit him. I thought my idea was cooler. Just saying. It was. Very cool idea. Yes, I know. I rolled an 11. And then my... Let's see. My actions... You get a plus 12, which is giving it uh, the strike a total of 23, which hits. And the damage would be uh, 3d4. 3d4 plus, and then we'll add two bleed to that. You know, I thought that idea of 3d4 was a good idea, but now I think I'm going to give you 1d12 Two. because 3d4s is a pain in the ass. Plus four, you can roll six. the 1d12 if you want. Plus one is seven. Seven plus two. Nine. You do nine points of damage as it slashes him across the face, and you hear him go... Arr! Josephine is now on top of the rock. Mm -hmm. This one stops what he's doing right where he is. And all of a sudden, he casts a. He takes an action. All you hear, all of a sudden, you hear a rumbling, rumble, 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 rumble. And this big rolling boulder comes crashing out of the woods towards the group. It just misses the boulder that you're on. And it is going to hit, it's going to roll over Thaddeus and Raven. You need to do reflex saves. Oh, shoot. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Nice you both beat the reflex save you leap out of the way and the boulder continues on oh lavinia is in the back lavinia and i will uh, roll for the mammoth Ooh. Ooh. six plus Ma whatever my mammoth is nine and you are six the boulder hits you and the boulder does apparently a lot two three four five eight. boulder does 13 points of damage to you The boulder also hits the mammoth, and instant that the boulder, boulder touches the mammoth, book, he vanishes. Dang it. And your mastodon is now demastodonified. You have three more times you can use him during this month. He's a mastagon. Uh -huh. He's a mastagon. Oh, good one. That was very good. Excellent job. to vacate it it becomes thaddeus's turn um i'm going to use my pearl handle for the knives. who are you targeting the one that's closest to the rock yeah. okay so you target him plus 14 strike uh, 15 you plus hit 14. him you hit him no problem. Okay, and the damage is 1d6 plus 1 piercing, 1d4. You're throwing one of your pearl handled knives at him? Yeah. Six damage. Hit him for six damage, and you see it protruding out of his chest. And he looks down, and he's like, Bruh! 
Pirates. Next it becomes another one of the dwarfs turns. Which dwarf is it? Close all these screens. I need a big, big screen. Where is it? The sacred stonecaster's turn. And you see another one of these giant boulders. You hear it crashing through the woods. And this guy, which, sorry, which guy is this? It is which direction is the boulder going? Where's my little reachy tool? I got one. We are now talking about the guy that's got the little swirl around him right there. And which guy cast the last one or the previous one? The boulder came from somewhere. It just came out of nowhere. It came what, through the what bushes. direction well, did it come from? We went, but we didn't know which it came direction. rolling from there that way. Okay. Okay. I keep on hitting my camera. <laughs> Sorry, camera. All right, that'll be close enough. This time, when he casts the boulder and he has it roll, it comes from the far edge out of the trees because there are three people lined up that it's going to try and hit. And the first one is Thaddeus and Raven and Lavinia, uh, uh, Lavinia all try re reflex saves again, please. I'm not getting down off this rock. I feel like I'm the safest person right here right now. Natural 20 plus 13. Misses. I mean, you, you, your success, your reflex is 28, 16. Reflex is a success. Hmm? Lavinia, six. how was yours? Yeah, six. Uh, six plus whatever my. And another one hits Lavinia. The rock hits Lavinia again. Three, four, five. And this time it does five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points of damage. <clears throat> well, fifty minus twelve, so thirty-eight. Yeah. And about half hill. That is the end of that caster's turn and it becomes percy's turn okay. while you guys are like interspersed <clears throat> with them every other one boop, 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 boop. so i would like to uh pull out stabby stab uh bowie knife and uh, uh my tomahawk and charge towards this guy so it take one two steps i guess that's 10 feet and engage this guy with my uh, Bowie and um, and uh, Hatchet with uh, Twin Strike. So the Twin Takedown is what it's called. Right. So right. you hit him with twice? And uh, with yeah. Each weapon, right? Uh, well, yeah. So Four it's, quick whacks? It's, 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 uh, it actually takes only one turn. One action. Four to, quick whacks. Two. Sorry. See quick whacks again? Yes, but one, twin two. takedown. Oh, one, two. Right. Okay, yeah. you're right. So two. it's it's you're right, two buddy. strikes during one turn. That's correct. Okay. Can, can, can someone please say quick wax again? Quick wax. <laughs> <laughs> quick quack, pally wax. <laughs> Dig a dug a bone. All right. Okay, I've fixed these guys' tokens too, by the way. Mm. 21. And that one's not enough. Okay. So first one was 21. Hits. And the second one was uh, 13. So it doesn't hit. Okay. And it is. Where the hell are we? I think it's 1D. Where are we? 1D8 or 1D10? Come here, you. Actions. Uh, I named your things now. It's Percy's Tomahawk. Percy's Tomahawk. Percy's Bow Knife. Damage is 1d6 plus 3. Now, what, basically 1d6 and 1d4. Yep. Yeah. Uh, on both of them. Okay. Uh, so you hit with one of them. Doesn't matter which one. It's a roll of d6 and a d4. Okay. And then you get a plus 3 points of extra slashing on top of that. Okay. So that's 6 seven eight points of damage 
eight points of damage. Plus as, four. As right? you slash him, you see this big rent open in his shoulder, and you see him pretty unhappy and enraged about it. Eight points of damage? Oh, that was eight on the dice. So you said there was a four, there was more? So that's 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. Okay. And uh, uh, it and looks one like more his, turn. one of his arms is badly wounded. Go ahead. One What's more your turn. next turn? Uh, my next turn is one more whack with the, uh, the tomahawk. Okay. So roll to hit. Yeah. And, uh, what's my what's my penalty on the second hit? It's, you uh, are allowed. Okay. You're with your tomahawk. It's a plus. It's a it's a plus nine. Plus nine. So it's pretty. That would be actually, yeah. actually that would be twenty two. That'll hit. Okay. So I'm um, gonna do the and same. And again, d sixty four. D sixty four. Five on the dice, plus two, plus or, three, uh, plus three. So five plus three, so eight. eight. Yep. Mother plus bucket. Okay, so he is pretty heavily wounded. This one that's been right in the front, in the forefront of all of this. Right. Uh, another one standing in the back at this time. What has he got on him for weapons? He has got a boulder rolling. Boulder, boulder, boulder. See mm -hmm. that boulder rolling? Mm -hmm. This boulder, because Percy has moved into view of where he is. Mm. Nope. That's a line of sight issue. Percy is directly behind it. The only yeah. ones he can see is he's got to roll this boulder. He's got to roll it right between Raven and Lavinia. Roll reflex saves. Thirteen. That's pretty this good. This boulder Lavinia is able to get out of the way of. That's pretty good. Yeah, I, you did it. I Yay. rolled a two, but I'm going to. Uh, and all of a sudden, Raven, who is now going to get trampled by a boulder, cast Chronal Shift, and Chronal Shift, and he rolls a nine plus twelve. Do you catch that? That's that's the sound spells make now. They make this sound. <laughs> <laughs> Now Sorry, that's a that's a roll. reflex, right? So twenty one. You you roll reflex, right? Nine plus twelve, right? So, so it's actually uh, eleven. Flex, flex, reflex. Uh, nine reflex. plus eleven. Yes. No. So your total so 20. is twenty. Your total is twenty. That's right. And the boulder hits you. Mm. Serious? Yes, because the reflex is higher than that. The reflex DC. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Very unfortunate. unfortunate. All of you have beat that. Yeah. Except when, when you did get hit. When we did get And hit. that is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 6 is 20 points of damage to Raven. Ow! As the boulder hits him hard. It's 5d6. All these other worlds, were, you got really lucky because it was low dice. That's the end of his cast. Uh, he has finished with his boulder, and it becomes Raven's turn. Do something, Raven. Okay, so I pull out Fireball. Thank goodness. Fireball. Hey, fireball. I need to know how big a 20-foot burst is. <laughs> we are going to give you a 20-foot burst with a measuring thing. And here it is. Do, do, do. There is 20 feet. Fireball. Why don't... How many actions? Does it take all three actions? No. I think it's it two. two. Okay. Hop up with me on this rock. For example, if I wasn't metagaming. Well, you could call out to him during a turn. Get up here. Your it's turn. not my turn. Okay, whatever. Can I get to that rock and climb up in one move? Yes, I'll say you. Well, you're going to have he? to do He's an athletics here. check to see if you could jump up. So 5, 10, like, 15, Honestly, 20. the best thing that you could do is if you don't want to roast Josephine, hmm. you can get these four in the back. That's the best you can do. You can't get the one off to the left-hand side. See where I put okay, it? So that's what I'll do. I'll cast uh, Fireball on those four. Four yeah. in the back. For my bird's eye view, I'd say that's your best shot. Anything else you do, Josephine gets roasted. You're just going to have to miss the other two. So they are all trying a reflex save, correct? Yep. Now I they notice are. that there's a change to the way Fireball works uh, based on the way we played it last time. 
And what's going to happen with your fireball? It's a basic mm -hmm. reflex save. Right. But the way the reflex save works is I looked this up. Shit, I should have written it down. So if it's a critical success, uh, my understanding, if it's a critical success, that's uh, they, they don't get hit. If they get a success, it's 50%. If it's a failure, it's full damage. That's my understanding. And if it's a critical failure, it's double. Correct. On a basic. That's reflex. correct. Yeah, you're right about that. Okay. Um, I'm not rolling right T for this. And my... Um, First one. My difficulty is... Seven gets hit. 21. Second one, 12. And what's your DC that they've got to beat? 21. 12. Does the next one beat it? I guess I need the right tool. What's his reflex? Flex, flex. He does not beat it. Yes. Next one is a 16 and does beat it for sure. And last one is a 14 and beats it as well. Two of them get hit. Okay. Nice. And they take they take regular full damage, correct? If um, the other two succeeded or they critically succeed? Because if they succeeded, they take half damage. They only succeeded. They did not critically succeed. Okay. So it's a um, 66. 6d6, boys and girls. Nice. Rocks Roll high. <laughs> so. They're throwing boulders at us. We got to throw some fire at them. I think we're not in the fade. This is yeah. why we keep Squishy around. Squishy is very useful in this particular instance. All right. Let's see how many little dwarves I can roast. Bowling for roast. Uh, let's see. So there's 12, and that's another 14 is 16, 26, right? Yeah, your 66 added up to 26, yes. Okay. You know, I can never keep this shit in my brain. Uh, and so what we discussed just goes right out. So, By the way, I found myself a GM screen, like a, a virtual one. Oh, nice. Which nice. I thought was kind of nice. I just don't know enough to use it real quick. So two things. of them get full and two of them get half. Yeah. Get and of course I type in reflex and it doesn't come up. 13, 13, or right. whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to apply that damage to them. And that is. Burned dwarfs. Seven. Burned grubby dwarves. dwarves. They're dirty and, and lucky burned. for you, none of them have resistance. Or perhaps unlucky for them, none of them have resistance. Mm -hmm. Would be the other two were 20 what? 26? Mm -hmm. 26. Spell token. 13. 13, 13, or 26, 26, right? 26, yeah. 26, 13, 13. So 20, 15. Okay, that uh, guy's good. Next guy. Same thing. Next guy, 13. Hmm. Okay. okay. And I use my remaining action to um, try and jump onto that boulder as well. And if I can't, then I'll hide beside it. I uh, roll for, uh, I'm going to say acrobatics, actually. It's not that you have to pull yourself climbing. You have to jump. Okay. Acrobatics. It's a plus 12. And I rolled a 17. Nice. You jump up Total. and you are standing on the boulder. Okay. Do, do, do. Still get hit by a rock probably, but what the Boom. hell? Crikey. I mean, they can still throw them at us, but yeah. they won't. They can't bowl them at us. Yeah, it's like bowling for dwarves, but us. Well, and and the nice thing is that the rock is blocking anything rolling from this direction, so the boulders will have to roll from this direction. They could hit this guy. Well, we don't know that boulders can't have projectile. <clears throat> as well. uh, yeah, we don't know if they're off the ground. We think they're just rolling, for now, but. Pff. Who knows? Can you see me rolling? We'll find out. <laughs> First thing you see is that the one of the guys who appears to have been the leader moves forward uh, one pace like this. 
and he bellows into the air, and he takes a great big war maul that he's holding, and he smashes it into the ground. And as he does, you see this wave roll out over top of all of the other dwarves around him. These are Dwergar dwarves. Okay. All right. All of the other Dwergar that are around him. And as you see that hit them, all of a sudden, you can see they buff up a little bit. Uh -oh. Okay. And uh, after he's done that, that action, uh, he then... Uh, decides that he is going to attack Josephine. Oh, dear. So he moves, continues moving, and he takes a swing at Josephine. He go, oh, he's not I'm right on top of her. I'm up on I know. Yeah. Okay. All right. He's going to reach with his thing and try and swing and hit you in the legs with this thing. Oh, How high is the boulder? Mm. The boulder is about, eh, I'm going to say the boulder is about five feet high. And how tall is he? And he's three feet high. Okay. And he's got a war hammer <laughs> that is three and a half feet long yeah. with a big ass head on it. So if he can hit feet with it, that's all he can reach. He's got a war hammer 40,000. So uh, he's going to roll the hit and see if he can do it. Boom. And he uh, ends up hitting with a plus four. So. He ends up doing damage, and that damage is a total of, God, you're lucky, seven points of damage. Put him down to 38. You have to roll to see if you're able to remain standing or if it knocks your feet out from under you. Oh, I thought you said he already did the damage. Yeah. I'm still rolling. You, but he, you've got to see if you can point. stay standing. Yeah. Or if he knocks Wait. you down. I need this one. Thank you. This is gonna be this is gonna be a uh um fortitude save. So you have got a fortitude, you've got to add to it. And I'll tell you what your fortitude is, if that'll help you. Uh my fortitude, I can figure that on my own, I'm pretty sure. It's ten. <laughs> And so in total, that's a 13. <laughs> You're able to stay standing. <laughs> wow. You are not prone. Wow. Phew. What the hell happened here? 